Hi everyone. Today's video is a good old-fashioned unboxing of a Kickstarter-funded high-speed camera from Cron Technologies in Canada. I ordered the camera about nine months ago after watching a review of a late model prototype on the EEV blog. For me, there are three justifications. The first is that the technology in David Kronstein's story, the crater story, is fantastic. The second is I'm fascinated by technologies that enhance our senses, such as extreme time-lapse, thermal, hyperspectral, and now high-speed video. Finally, unique tools tend to attract unique jobs to pay for the tools. I ordered the monochrome 16 gigabyte version, 16 gigabyte to give eight seconds recording, and monochrome to have greater light sensitivity and probably greater fidelity since it won't have a color filter in front of the sensor. It's got a lot of foam, packing list, a user manual with version 0.2 of the software, cable, camcorder battery, wall adapter, hex wrench, and the camera. Okay, so I hadn't intended to open the box up quite yet because I know that I want to spend a lot of time learning how to use this camera and there's other work that I have to get done. But Chrome Technologies contacted me and they said, please open the box up and verify its contents. And the packing list is right, it matches what's on the outside of the box, but the lens is missing, which is no big deal because I have other C-mount lenses. But unfortunately, the camera is the wrong model. So this is the color 8 gig version instead of the monochrome 16 gig version. But maybe it'll work out well in the end because I'm sure they'll make this right and there is a place for a 32 gig um, option. So maybe I'll be able to get a 32 gig version. It seems really well built. It fits in the hand nicely. It's knurled here so it grips uh, nicely. Um, I don't know about this fan and these vent holes here. Might have to make an enclosure for this. Uh, SD card, nice large display, a couple of places for mounting attachments, a kind of tripod, a battery port, uh, a lot of connections on the side, power, gigabit ethernet, trigger, headset, microphone, HDMI, eSATA, uh, on the go, mini USB, and then uh, some uh, general purpose uh, I.O. If anyone out there is looking for their 8 gig color version and currently has a, a monochrome 16 gig version, let me know. Maybe we can avoid uh, hassle with customs. Otherwise, I'm going to charge up the battery and begin to learn a little bit about how this camera works. I want to show the camera's interface. If you go to record settings, you can see the different resolutions that are available. And to get higher frame rates, you have to reduce the resolution. The default resolution is 1080 by 1024, and that allows for nearly 1100 frames per second. The fastest speed is 640 by 96, 
at nearly 22,000 frames per second. When a faster frame rate is selected, a smaller region is read off of the sensor. And some of them have a very narrow readout, 1280 by 96 at 11,000 frames per second is a good example. Only this little bar is read off of the sensor. You may be able to orient the camera in a way that really optimizes uh, the use of the sensor. More information on the development of the Kronos high-speed camera is available from the creator David Kronstein's YouTube channel, Tesla 500. After using the Kronos for a few hours, uh, I have just a few observations. If your lens doesn't have sufficient range of focus, you may need to add extension tubes or uh, turn the lens out a little bit. Be sure to extract the card before removing it from the camera. It's mentioned in the documentation, but if you don't heat it, your files are likely to be corrupted. Larger SD cards are hard to format on Windows 10. They need to be formatted FAT32 for the Kronos to read them, and Windows 10 doesn't support FAT32 well on larger SD cards. You can download a program called GUI Format from RidgeCorp Consulting. It's free, and it does quick uh, format on larger SD cards. A 64 gig SD card formats in about a couple of seconds. The Kronos seems to be an ARM-based system. Uh, the Linux distribution that's associated with it appears to be uh, Angstrom uh, from September 2011. And finally, I'd like to hear from you what your applications for a high-speed camera would be, and would you choose a color or a grayscale camera? Thank you for watching. We'll talk again soon.